Hello and welcome, welcome, welcome to this afternoon, evening, morning program. It is about migrant crisis. I said this earlier on that I'm going to be talking about the migrant crisis. It is not an easy um, communication and it's not an easy conversation because we all know what's going on in the world today but for the crisis that we are having it has gone beyond like salvaging right now and it doesn't it doesn't take one country to solve it it takes several countries to solve this crisis one thing I want to say is that this United Kingdom that a lot of people were rushing to come to is not like it is years ago. The United Kingdom we were all rushing to come to 30, 40 years ago has been ranked one of the poorest country in Europe. Can you believe this? Can you believe it? People who are coming in as refugees by boat, they end up in refugee camps. And there are lots of disease that are now, they said, diphtheria is there. They haven't got proper sanitation. And if at all they move them from that place, they are not in London, in the city where things will be a little bit better. They take them to somewhere outside, hotels. They will be in hotel, but it's not that real hotel that you will enjoy life. Okay. Then, the country is in recession. We have high bills, um, transportation is expensive, gas bill is high, parking tickets everywhere, you cannot drive without you having congestion charge if you get to a certain area, all that is money. The United Kingdom, we know yesterday is not the same as it was today. Now, people who come here who hasn't got jobs, they suffer. They suffer. Food is rationing. Many people have to go to food bank to collect food. These days, when you go to shop, the shops are half empty. Why? Not that there is no food. There are food, but there is no transport to bring them to the shop. Coupled with the virus, which was uh, uh, um, rampant, Three years ago, the, the COVID is having gone. It's still around. So many people are being sick and don't get to work. So all these things affect the economy. So people who are saying they're coming to England, coming to England, don't come. Stay in your country. Because you are better off where you are than to come here and suffer. Many people who were qualified, has degrees, still hasn't got the jobs they are qualified for. Many people take menial jobs to support themselves. And so when you come here and you cannot work, you are asking for trouble.
as for me, I was pretty lucky during the time. I was blessed because uh, I don't want to say lucky because only blessing can make you get to where you are. That I got a very good job that carried me through to my pension age. So, don't take the risk. It's not worth it. Stay in your country and enjoy your life there because you can make any kind of decision. You can, you can turn around, you can look at places, you can dog the ground, you can as they say till the ground and plant your food and eat yeah when winter comes everything dies you have to get a greenhouse to plant vegetable but in africa or wherever you are coming from the weather is good so this is a good advice i'm giving to you so if you hear you listen then everything will work well don't come and kill yourself in that camp don't come and kill yourself in queue because there is no food like before you will leave job and enter another job for now there is no you can't get the first job before you leave that job to go enter another job shops are all closing many of them are doing uh, online sales online shopping and when they do the online shopping it is i mean one person can take order and do all those sort of things like it's not like when you are you go in the shop that you will get assistant and also people do their own shopping online they choose what they want all they need they just need people to pack it and then they send it to the packing place and, and that's how it is so it, 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 those type of jobs are no no longer available shops are closing left and right you go to some streets they're all locked down what you will find, you will find charity shop. Because charity shop, most of the things are given, all of the things are things that people donate. And sometimes their rents are uh, uh, cheaper than when you are doing uh, um, normal uh, um, business, for, which is not charity. So that is the uh, um, discussion regarding this migrant. This migrant crisis is forever going on and on and on. But if we are clever enough, we will know how to keep ourselves safer than to get trapped in a migrant camp. Well, till next time, I love you. God loves you more. Stay safe and God bless you. Like share and subscribe if this is the first time you've come across the channel i love you bye bye